When I put you in this state, I'm not going to wake you up. You have control of your memories, so you should be able to wake yourself up, okay? Got it. All right, let's begin. Yeah, I decided to uh, major in economics. What about you? I'm undecided right now, but I think I'll just figure it out when I get there. It's nice that we can do this, you know, just like sit and talk. Yeah, me too. Yo. Sorry, I, I just thought I heard our order or something. T tell me more. About what? You know, about life. I, I haven't seen you in so long. We had an eighth period yesterday. What are you talking about? Right, yeah. Uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing? Don't worry about it. Okay, I, I won't. Uh, you know, the, the most exciting... Sorry, I'm just going to check on our order real quick. What are you doing here? Drinking coffee. You're not supposed to be here. You shouldn't be either. What is that? That's not the question you should be asking right now. Please, sit. So, who are you? And what are you? I'm the part of your subconscious that you can't control. What does that mean? I'm a part of your mind that holds a kind of grief and regret that is deeply embedded into your subconscious and that you can't just imagine away. And where are we? The part of your subconscious that holds nothing. The part of your mind that is empty. So why were you there in my memory? You're not supposed to be there. And neither are you. It's my memory. A memory is the past, meaning you shouldn't be there. Cam's not coming back. I don't want to forget him. You're not going to. This way, you have memories. But memories are supposed to be looked back on, not lived in. You have to move forward. But I'm scared. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do without him. What do I do? I can't tell you what you're going to do with your life. That's for you to decide. You ready to go back? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm ready. How do you feel? Uh, good. I feel good. That's great to hear. Report your dreams and feelings back to me in the next week.